Imagine a world without the x symbol for multiplication. No sine and cos in trigonometry. No slide rules for early scientists and engineers. Well, today we're talking about the man who introduced them all, William Orchard. This brilliant mathematician, clergyman and inventor not only shaped the way we do mathematics, but lived through some of the most fascinating times in English history. From working with aristocrats to feuding with rivals, Orchard's life was anything but boring. Let's dive in. William Orchard was baptised on the 5th of March 1575 at Eton College, where his father worked as a writing master. From a young age, he was immersed in learning, and it wasn't long before he was off to King's College, Cambridge, where he earned his BA in 1596 and his MA in 1600. But Orchard wasn't just a numbers man, he was also a man of faith. In 1603, he became an ordained priest, and by 1610, he was the rector of Albury in Surrey, a position he'd hold for 50 years. Now here's where things get really interesting. Orchard wasn't content just preaching. His real passion was mathematics. Ever used the multiplication symbol? Thank Orchard. He also introduced the abbreviations sine and cos for sine and cosine, which are still used in trigonometry today. But he didn't stop at symbols. He designed a slide rule, a crucial calculating tool that would be used for centuries. He also worked on various sundials, measuring rods, and astronomical instruments. One of his most famous works was the Clavis Mathematicae, or the Key of Mathematics, written in 1631. This book was so influential that it was used by legendary scientists like Isaac Newton. But genius often attracts controversy. Ordred had a fierce falling out with a former student, Richard Delamain, who claimed he had invented the slide rule and an astronomical instrument known as the horizontal instrument. Ordred was having none of it. He fired back with a book, The Circles of Proportion, the just apology of William Orchard against the slanderous insimulations of Richard Delamain. Yes, a mouthful, but basically a 17th century academic clapback. Orchard continued working until his death on the 13th of June 1660, and his children carried on his legacy. His sons became watchmakers, and his daughter's husband edited his works. Even today, his name lives on. There's even an Orchard Society in the United States dedicated to preserving the history of slide rules. So, the next time you see a multiplication sign or use trigonometry, remember William Orchard, the man who gave us the tools to understand the universe. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Tudor-era mathematics, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more fascinating historical stories. And let me know in the comments, who's your favourite historical genius? See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.